What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about exactly how the armory system works. Give you guys the details of what we know so far. I think there's several players out there that may not understand all of the armory system or exactly what we get with it when update 32 drops. So the armory system is going to be a free furnishing that you can place in your house. So same kind of concept as a outfit station. When you interact with this furnishing, you can save your entire build and later load it again. You can have multiple saves and multiple builds here and swap between them quick and easy. Each character will get two build slots for free and an additional eight can be purchased for the crown, uh, from the crown store. Uh, sadly, all these build slots are per character and not per account. So if you're like myself, you have a lot of different characters you play on. You really don't have a main. This could get very expensive because you would have to buy each of these additional slots per character if you wanted more slots for you know several of your characters that you have so i think a lot of people will probably be only purchasing the eight additional slots for maybe only one or two characters out there we'll have to wait and see how much they are in the crown store alongside the armor uh, the armory furnishing excuse me there will be a armory assistant that you can obtain now zos do not give us details of how this will be attained most people in the community think it's going to be something like the banker or the merchant that you have to purchase from the store it also could be something like we got with the Thieves Guild, where you have the Thieves Guild assistant, uh, the assistant once you completed the story and stuff like that. They could do that, but I am kind of leaning with most of the community when they think it's going to be something you have to buy from the store. With the assistant, you can swap builds almost anywhere in game except PvP, Vet Trials, and Vet Arenas. Of course, I made a video yesterday, I'll pop up in the top corner right now, where I was talking about a lot of people in the community that are score pushers, a lot of people like to play Vet content. We're kind of upset that this was not going to be able be able to be used in a you know in between fights so they could swap builds and vet trials you know for each individual fight which is something a lot of players do if they play in-game vet trials your allies may want to use your assistant too when they are grouped with you so that's going to be kind of like the banker and merchant once again you can use that even if you don't own it you can use your friends if they do own one uh, some other things they talked about of course was the armory will let you save the following properties gear skills including your unlocked skills, passives, morphs, champion points, slotted points, and unlocked stars, quick slotted items, so your potions, attribute points, outfit, of course, your vampire or werewolf. So it says, yes, this means you can swap between those without having to redo the quest, which is really good. The one thing, of course, that's not mentioned that is the Munda Stone, which I think a lot of people were kind of upset to see. Um, that means you're going to have to go out and swap your Monday Stone manually, manually if you want, which is not bad because if you're in a guild and people have all the Monday Stones, it's not really a, that big of a deal. But, of course, they say swapping bills at the armory is free and also no, no charge to your champion points, skill points, attributes, or respect cost, all that kind of stuff. It does sound like something that's going to be a thing that a lot of people in the community really like. And in that video yesterday, I talked about, like I said, that certain percent of the community that's in-game players are not really going to be happy with this, especially if they're on PC. They already have tons of add-ons out there on PC that they actually can save their builds in uh, to swap, you know, in fights and, and, you know, vet trials and things like that. So that's probably what they will still use. Here on console, it's going to be a great quality of life improvement. I, I've thought for a long time this needed to be added. I've talked about this in several videos in the past. We want something that we can actually use in-game uh, to be able to swap our different builds out. My only issue with it, really, and my personal issue with it, of course, you may not feel like this yourself, but I'm kind of disappointed that you have to buy each individual slot. And I know not everyone has lots of characters like I do, but when you have played for a really long time, uh, if you've played, you know, as long as I have since the game was released here on console, you probably have a lot of characters and you probably play on a lot of different characters because you like to swap it up. And that's how I am. And it's kind of disappointing that we have to buy each of these slots per character and it's also kind of disappointing that we really don't know exactly how the assistant is going to be obtained yet. I'm hoping they're going to let us obtain this assistant through maybe doing story, even though that will be boring for some people to have to go in and, you know, and do the entire story. Maybe if they're not a big fan of doing story content, but at the same time, I think that will be better than having it, uh, you know, as a purchasable thing within the store, because if you have to purchase the assistant and start purchasing slots, a lot of people will consider this to be kind of a money grab. And I do understand where they're coming from, even though I don't always agree with what a lot of people think as a money grab in game, but I do understand kind of where they're coming from. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Are you excited to see this? Like I said, I think it's a great quality of life change. I hate it for certain parts of the community that maybe score pushing vet kind of trial players that they cannot use it between fights to swap out their bills or still don't have to do it the old fashioned way and just go in and swap out their gear from their inventory. But of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. 
be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.